People are constantly overcomplicating the process of changing a light bulb. It's no heavy task. Quite a light one, actually. John would be proud. <laughs> Welcome to Graham Games. My name is Graham. This is a game. Today we're playing the Flash game. I'm out of here. And this is actually a new Flash game created specifically for the Flash Forward Jam. A bunch of creators made games in old Flash software to show off new Ruffle emulation that you can still have Flash games playable in browser. Not all Flash games work yet, but some of the older ones do and ones using old Flash softwares can still work, which is a cool concept. This is a new first time creator, the Carpet Baker, and they made a Riddle School style game, which I thought, yeah, that's great. Let's take a look. Mom, uh, hello? Very aggressive, intense tap. The Riddle School style is obviously not being applied to the characters. This is a bit more of their own style there. But even just the style of the cutscenes is very much in line with that and the pop-up text. Hi Josh, it's your mother speaking. I just got a call from your teacher. He has assigned some extra homework for you to do. What? I just finished my homework. Why do I need more? He wants to prepare you for the 48 hour long exam. It's too long. By a solid like six hours? It's unreasonable. Oh, fantastic. I'm sending over the first homework package. This is very fun, silly music that belongs in like the opening cutscene of maybe not quite Zelda, but like an adventure game of sorts. So that's kind of carving out its own territory from the types of soundtrack John usually went for with Riddle School. Don't worry, he said it'd be light work this time. Prepare yourself. Uh -huh. Mom, why'd you make it sound so intense? Okay, well the phone exploded and then the homework started started duplicating itself, so maybe it is a little intense. <laughs> I think we may have different definitions of the word light. This work is about as light as a cement truck. Got the same snarky humor though. Like weird, not quite pun, but like comparisons, analogies. Just get it done. I'll be back from work later tonight. Until then, I expect you to expect you to focus your attention on that work. There is no way I could possibly get this done by tomorrow. I don't want to hear any excuses. Do it or you're grounded. <sighs> Mom. Oh, don't bother trying to leave the house. The security system is set to kill on sight. Bob's a little overbearing. See you soon. I don't know, if, since this game is new, it was made so recently, I don't know if it's meant to take place in a world where learning is taking place at home, or if, you know, it's just usual homework being done in the evening. A poster of me, the the field of view, the depth, the UI, but mostly, mostly the speckled way things are shaded is such a strong recreation of John's style, especially what he kind of refined towards the riddle transfer games in particular that's really cool to see to see it brought up to the level of where john eventually was able to bring the series a ham poster which is like a a one night at fun tease joke i made that poster for a bake sale in school unfortunately since i didn't list the time place or even that there was a bake sale i got a terrible mark <laughs> This shelf serves one purpose, and that's to give me a big old bonk on my noggin when I sit up in the morning. That is a terrible placement. I would, I would suggest moving your desk in bed. <laughs> Seriously, right over where I sleep. But having your bed on the same wall as your desk or as your door, that's, that's no good either. You don't want that. Yeah, truly no other options. Sorry, man, you're just gonna have to get a tougher skull. It's been sillier once you realize I don't read books. It's even sillier. The ones I put up there are strictly decorative. Oh, I would love so badly to know what you consider a decorative book. How many X does it take to change a light bulb? People are constantly overcomplicating the process of changing a light bulb. It's no heavy task. 
quite a light one, actually. John would be proud. <laughs> but hey, look on the bright side. More light-hearted puns for us, right? That's enough. My head hurts from all this wordplay. It was taken from proud to this might just be John's clone. <laughs> you know, it, it certainly was elevated. The disable security system software. Yes, of course, with default like Windows XP background. I think I can disable the security system using my computer. After all, I helped my dad set it up in the first place. I would just have to go hunting for a code. That's my computer. I mainly use it to play video games with my friends. Without a desk chair. Very good for the posture, though. Just stand strictly at your desk. Good for you. Josh, I think his name was. That's a photo of me from about four years ago. I'm, I'm thinking this is a bit of a commentary on the, the developer of this game, like, improving their art style over time. Like, this is somewhere in between how they would draw themselves now and how they would specifically draw themselves in John style versus just like a doodle from four years ago. I appear to be riding in a wooden boat over a pool of lava. The good old daredevil days. <laughs> yeah, it's risky business. Calling this hunk of cement a pillow is extremely generous. My bed is a clay cake and this the recently refrigerated lump of icing on top. I'll cut the prompt beside the cursor some slack, because I know it hasn't slept on that thing a day in its life. It's a good fourth wall break. You can't interact with the paperwork, which is itself kind of a funny gag of like, I got nothing to say, don't want to, don't even want to look at it or think about it. My trusty lighter. I'll take it with me. Either that or they forgot to write something. This was a game jam, there was a deadline, so who knows. The keyboard. I like to rearrange the letters on my keyboard to spell out stupid words. The escape button appears to be missing. How ominous. <laughs> you can actually literally see that in the art. That's a, a good attention to detail. We totally used to pry the keys off the keyboard on like school keyboards and <laughs> try and spell things out on them. Quality prank. It smells like gasoline? You know, when you're attending a, a school, like Riddle School, that has stains everywhere and stuff, you're like, oh, this school's gross, and it's like a, a gag on that. When it's your own home, it's like a little bit sad. That just worked? I guess that... Okay, not quite. Nothing disabled. The, bouncing of the uh, bounciness of the animation there is so good, actually. Right bad idea. That's really interesting because it's it's John's style of cutscene but the character animation is totally this guy's own and I really like it. I really like the style of animation they have. I almost just became a very burnt piece of Josh toast. I'd rather not try leaving my room again until that gun's offline. Your mom should dial it back. Like, like a lot. A lot, a lot. Let's just start some Fires? Light the gasoline? Oh god. <laughs> I am a little surprised that's the solution. It's a bit much. This is a very well thought out password remembrance system. It's a good thing the rest of my room is completely fireproof. You just, you just soaked that corner in gasoline, huh? You did? Someone did? So it's either ooles. No, no, it, it would have to be 5700. Unless there's, like, more in behind ools? From what I can tell, that thing says ools. This is somehow supposed to help me remember the security password, which the, like, letter number flipping is, is quite common to what John would do in his games. Nice, the turret system should be offline now. I can safely leave my room without being turned into Josh Toast. I'd like to break out of here fast, not become wreck fast. Breakout fast breakfast. That's there's layers there. It's very well crafted. This house is very over the top. <laughs> the coolant pump again, very very riddle transfery. This is above and beyond for a fan game. The unsolvable problem: pizza plus fish equals you know a tasty treat. 
small anchovies on there? I mean, it's not really unsolvable. Fish plus pizza equals fish pizza. Bam! Answered. The universe implodes. A bomb sign? Evidently, the sign says that this should be a bomb-free area. Yet you're out here just lighting walls on fire as if that's not equally destructive. Gasoline-soaked walls, mind you. I remember the day I was running up the stairs and tripped, sending my Mike Wazowski figure through the crack. He met a terrible fate. There's got to be something to that. Does Mike Wazowski come up at all in the Riddle School series? Like, what a weird... Maybe this creator just has a little figurine of, of little one-eyed Mike. There's like a nice jazzy quality to the soundtrack, whereas I guess the Riddle Transfer stuff was usually very sci-fi and trance-oriented, and so maybe this makes sense as the t style of music that would have been present in like Riddle School 1 had John made it today, you know, rather than the aggressive madness soundtrack. These machines pump coolant all throughout the house. All I need now is house-wide RGB lighting and everything the light touches will be my gaming setup. The only option after that is to turn every flat surface into a 4K monitor. Yeah, but at that point it'll be 8K or 16K. Although I think I've seen that 8K is like literally beyond the level that a human eye can appreciate. <laughs> that right there is something I enjoy ignoring. Do I know what it is? No. It looks lumpy and slimy and like it belongs in the Brackenwood series. And I, I can understand wanting to ignore it. Those are the security turrets. They're placed all throughout the house. But especially right at your, your main door there. Green dude plush, little green dude. But not the same little green dude as Mike Wazowski. It's a different little green dude. Lots of arrows, seemingly really wanting us to go this direction, so I suppose I'll, I'll indulge. You have a fun house, I'll tell you that. What a nice little poster. That almost makes me forget that we have a giant crusher room in the house. The sticky note says, The door opens only for those mourning the death of a primate. So I should go watch War of the Planet of the Ape? Monkey, he's the key, and he's a monkey. You're coming with me, monkey. Basketball. <laughs> All right. Had to decorate the room somehow, I suppose. Beautiful, shining artwork. This is one of my favorite pieces, and the gods struck with a booming form of applause. It's also the only piece of art that's ever made me cry. In fact, seeing it right now, oh lord. I can feel the tears already. <laughs> really gushed out like kind of like an ass, ass diff movie. Alright, I've finished crying. I think that's the longest I've been able to look at this without crying. I really just became torrential downpour. Oh, there's a little fill egg tree on there. It blag and a little white dude and a light bulb and a, I don't know, a hat or a typewriter with a balloon. Those I don't know, but Phil, nice and obvious. That there is my collection of various dudes, all of which are very cool. <laughs> a new light bulb, and we have like a, a cactar, but one that seemingly needs some watering. Oh God, dude. I hope your rent on this house, if it's a rental, is, is nothing, <laughs> you know? Do you seriously want to know if I have anything to say about that? Yeah, this is seemingly a bigger, worse version of the other one you have in the house. These are, these are bad news. How to use heavy duty hole punch. Place object on target and pull lever. You're like crushing a, a toaster? I'm guessing this is what they meant by the crusher room. Yes? We have to mourn the monkey? Was that not what we were trying to do? Please stay on target. There isn't anything for the machine to hole punch yet. This is separate. There's there's a crusher room, apparently, that I've yet to see. And a hole punch room? There's some very highly specific rooms, apparently. Fish singing bass on the wall. A book light? Is that kind of just like an inverse of like, you know, when you have you would have a light to read your book by? It's, it's kind of a funny gag. You can't click on most things. I'm guessing that was more of like a, a running out of time situation. 
they did put a lot of time into like animated cutscenes and just all the backgrounds and everything, so I can appreciate needing to cut some corners there. Kindly go away. Welcome, Matt? But it goes... It's for people inside the house already as they're leaving, <laughs> you know? It's not oriented for them as they're coming in or anything. It's like directed at the people who live here, and that's sad. Alright, yeah, the door is locked. The key's gotta be lying around here somewhere. You know, when you escape Riddle School, you can just, like, go home after. If you're escaping home, I'm guessing you're not gonna go to school. <laughs> Maybe there's an arcade or something fun to go to. I always figured this welcome mat was either a security measure or some sort of rogue defect. Any home invaders will immediately read the mat upon entry and kindly exit through the front door. Either that, or this thing's making a statement by fighting the age-old tradition of welcome mats. Uh, welcoming people. I like your spirit, rebellious welcome mat. <laughs> Going against the grain, carving out its own style. Got a unique voice in the front entrance welcome mat game. Now what? Can't, can't attract that little shake. Home sweet home. Ah, nothing says cozy quite like our giant industrial flavored basement. This room is all the rage during house parties. That would be awesome. It doesn't matter how much spilling people do or, or other ruckus they cause. It'd be so easy to clean and probably quiet, wouldn't disturb the neighbors. I take it back. Rent in this place must be astronomical. Sure, you have to deal with weird piles of sludge and a, a disgusting gasoline walls and oozing hole punch rooms, but you got the best party pad in the whole county. The circuit breaker. This side is up. All right, so that'll be important once I know what time to set this to, but currently it doesn't really matter. That clock never seems to tell the time correctly. I wonder if it serves a different purpose. A timer on coolant or security or something. It's gotten so hot out that we need these machines to pump coolant throughout the house. Also, they just look dope. Very futuristic, you know? I ain't letting a scorching hot day stop me from getting out of here, though. Oh, name of the game. They really sell the effect of this room being large well. I think it's simple, but it looks good. I would be so down to see more games in this style. Whether or not they are meant to be more Riddle School fan games, but just generally I'm, I'm intrigued enough to want to see more from the Carpet Baker. <laughs> the kitchen toilet, the, the best underappreciated location. Everyone who has separate bathrooms you're paying for a room you don't need. That room could be turned into play space. Fun, fun extra spare room, you know? You could just as easily have it in the kitchen here. Eat food, take a poop. It's, uh, it's efficient, you know? <laughs> what? Do you not have one? Can I, can I flush it? Ah, security is active when light is on. That counts as on? It's on, but it's red. Would it turn green if it was on? Instant potato seeds. Big ol' bag of instant potato seeds. They apparently grow instantly when submerged in salt water. I'll take a few. Why not? Can I... I doubt I can combine any of what I have. A microwave that's given me a little bit of a stink eye. Yo, what is up, bro? It is your boy, Michael, the microwave oven. Getting jiggy with it in the kitchen room. Microwave? Correct. Uh, nice to meet you. This is not our first meeting. <laughs> I have known you the entire duration of your existence. That's strange. This is the first time I've ever heard you talk. That red light dictates my ability to dictate. That red light can also, in fact, eat my shorts for limiting my youthful potential. Oh, I suppose that makes sense. I can understand completely. I'm never down here when the security system's online. What is different today? I'm busting out epic style. Like Henry Stickman, making him proud. Badass bust out. Rad. <laughs> My Michael Waves got our back. This guy's, uh, he gets us. He gets me. <laughs> it all just makes perfect sense. I was thinking, you know, 
get a cup of toilet water, add some potato seed, find some salt somewhere. There's not that many more places to go or things to interact with. I have not found anything to hole punch. I I don't know how to mourn the death of a, of a primate still. I've already deactivated the turret system. I'm not in the mood to play any video games at the moment either. You, on the other hand. You know, considering how rich my parents are, you'd think a decent bed would be in the budget. This solid mattress design has broken more backs than han ha haphazardly taking a stroll on cracked sidewalk day. Yeah, but I mean, sir, I, I doubt you're a mother. You would not be the one at risk in that situation. I've yet to understand almost what anything is for. Tell me a little about yourself, Michael. I love collecting batteries. Bring me a battery and I will give you something rad. Will a lighter do? I... I was hoping you would have something to offer relevant to what I was like already had or already doing. I, I can't use toilet water, but I could cry my eyes out into into the cup. The salt water, it all it all kind of clicked all of a sudden. This should come in handy somehow. I I knew I had to get salt somewhere, and it just oh yes, of course. It took a few laps of the house to to realize that's where that needed to go. And now am I doing like the science experiment of making a potato light? Called it. That made sense in that moment. I didn't call it earlier. You can't pretend like it's something that I. I've stated there's no certifiable way of proving that I understood that that was what was going on. And now, uh, is this a battery? Does that count? Ah ha ha, perfect addition to my collection. What a unique approach. You must care very deeply about batteries. Sure, I will not be granting you a battery gift. Well, wow, that's a ripoff. Instead, I will give you this object that is distinctly not a battery. Uh, thanks. I'll find a good use for it. A escape button for the keyboard? It's hard to see or tell what it is. I can't think of why I would need to hole punch that. And I'm correct, that is not, that is not what it's meant for. Does it prove that I'm mourning a primate in any way? Can I show you my tears? It opens for those mourning the death of a primate. I gotta do I gotta do something to the monkey. This button matches this, and I hadn't even realized that. I, I mean, I, it kind of looked like a button was missing, but that did not register for me quickly. I also had noticed prior to this, that this clock does, did not match this one, and I was thinking to myself, like, ah, that's kind of like, it, it's not programmed in properly that setting this clock changes this clock, and I'm realizing now, I'm sitting here looking around the house for a time, no, this is the time you're trying to, to match specifically. So I, because it's upside down, I need the big hand over here, and the little one right up here. It's gonna take me a minute. That is just very much not <laughs> like it seems to be moving less than one hour per trip around the sun from from the big hand, you know? Something clicked. That must be correct. Oh my god. <laughs> that looks like it belongs out of madness, talking about the fact that Riddle School had some madness inspirations. Falling in there would likely result in an immediate gruesome death, but it seems to be not something your parents are concerned with. They got laser guns pointed at your door. It might come as a surprise to you, but I'd like to avoid doing that. Uh, that's where I left my bowling ball, of course. It's a precariously placed bowling ball. There's no way I'm just leaving it like that. I'm taking it with me. <laughs> Gotta risk it. Can't, can't afford to lose that bowling ball, you know? The basketball upstairs is fine. It's fine. But the bowling ball, that's where it's at. Whoa, it's a lot lighter than I thought it'd be. 
It's almost like the thing's completely hollow. That's not a bowling ball mod I've ever heard of. I can hole punch a bowling ball? That doesn't make any sense. But at the same time, it already had holes in it, so I figured why not? Now, what do I do with it? Wow, that's one hefty hole punch. Punched a hole clean through the inside of this hollow bowling ball. Well, if it's hollow, it might not be that strong, but still, it's an industrial punch, I'll give you that. I'll be taking that back now, thank you. And filling it with tears, filling it with a, a monkey, filling it with weird goop. None of the above. Crying into it. We've already done that once. Giving it to that slot? Combining balls? I, uh, I'm out of ideas. I'm building a bomb? Hmm. <laughs> Do you know what would be a good way to mourn the death of a monkey? <laughs> would be to irrefutably kill the monkey. Oh, I'm so sorry. Poor monkey kind of bounced around in there a little bit. Hmm. That is not my way out. That's just a random, completely independent room, elevator, I don't even know. This is a strange place for a pile of gunpowder to be. I suppose I'll pocket it. We are building a bomb. I guess that was a hint. I guess that makes sense in its own weird way. Elevator's down. It's a panel with some exposed wires. Ah, electrical hazards in this house. Don't know if it would pass inspection. Everything else, the giant grinder and the hole punch, none of that's fine. It's fine. It's up to code, apparently, but those exposed wires. I don't think it would be stupid to assume it is connected to the door somehow. Probably not stupid. No, I, I guess. I guess that makes sense. We can put a, a fuse on our, on our bomb. We can blow up the door with this yes no I keep trying to put things in there I don't think I can I can just destroy the wires okay yeah good that <laughs> I mean of course just to splash it on there it didn't it, everything else is fireproof in the house that was established so it's totally fine man that thing is completely destroyed awesome <laughs> Screw on fuse, because of course that would be down here in this tiny little hole in the wall guarded by a giant door. Like, of course, of course, you know. Some sort of fuse with a screw. If you specifically had a no bomb rule in your house, then yeah, that's that's where you would put it. You would make sure it was locked up and protected so no one accidentally discovered it, you know? Light the bomb? N not quite. In what world is this bomb not complete? Michael, let, tell me. I'm very pleased with your battery. Feel free to donate more batteries at any time. Sorry, man, I'm fresh out of batteries at the moment. You disgust me. <laughs> not really intense. I'm going to blow you up, Michael. Okay, maybe a little extreme. Maybe a, maybe a little over the top. I'll, I'll grant you that. Bomb in the giant thing? I got to light, I got to light the bomb. Am I not just blowing up the door? Maybe I'm blowing up the coolers? Or the crack in the wall? Putting it specifically in the no bomb spot. Yes, that does make sense in, in hindsight. It wasn't a very long fuse. You're very lucky to have made it out. I didn't even have to take cover. <laughs> the front door key. Simple as that. Such logical puzzle solving. <laughs> How didn't... How did I not figure it out sooner? You know, it all just fell into place. I'm out of here by Carpet Bakery, made for the Flash Forward Game Jam. Music from the Newgrounds audio portal. People underappreciate how much bang and good music is on that audio portal. Super worth check checking out. Carpet Bakery is how they credit themselves. On Newgrounds, they're the Carpet Baker, but that's good to know. I'll have links to the game in the description if people want to check it out for themselves. And so that'll be, you'll, you'll be able to find their profile through that and hopefully be able to follow them through future creations they might tackle. I was holding out to see if there was like a, what did they do with their day after escaping or any sort of cutscene like that? 
Not quite. That was immaculately well done. Jessica's school had been the best Riddle School fan game I had played, and it was very interesting because it was someone taking their own characters and own style and putting them in the same setting of a school and playing it out in a very similar manner to like Riddle School 1, 2, that sort of thing. It's very cool to see someone now use the concept, the art style, of the later games in the series, but putting it in a different setting, different concept, different setup. It's just, it's a fun way to riff on a simple formula. And I always like seeing the creative ways that, that different artists tackle that. Yeah, I'm impressed. I very much plan to follow this creator and see what they do next. I'm, I think it was a very well done game. You guys have to let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again. See you.